What's going on, all you gamers? Here we are back with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected. And today I'm going to be going over how you can manage to get yourself a nice gold dagger. Now, there are a few prerequisites, but in general, this is one of the easier to get hold of items in the game for a unique, and because of its vast magic find, it's well worth knowing how to do this because it can really, really help you out. So, if you want to know how to get your hands on a gold dagger, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, all the latest and greatest hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of all the upcoming games, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today I'm here to show you how you can get your hands on a nice gold dagger. Now this is a unique item, and the main reason you're going to want this is because of its 100% magic find. It's absolutely amazing for magic find, not much else to be perfectly honest because the stats on it aren't that great, but if you're trying a magic find build, or if you want to swap it out, have it on your second slot, or even on a secondary character, this can be a really really great unique item to have. Now like I said, there are a few prerequisites. The main thing is you're going to need a vast amount of money, so what I would say is probably best is having a main character make your way through the game, hit end game and then start to do this because it will be a gambling thing. So if I go up to my stash just here, if I go up to my shared stash, one of the other prerequisites is like I said an absolute abundance of money. Now hopefully I'm going to have enough, I don't know if I will because it can be a bit RNG the same as everything in Diablo but I've got about 2.5 million give or take. Like I said if you've got someone that has a nice bit of gold find or if you've just got a main character and you're able to chuck it in your shared stash, what you're going to need to do after that and the main thing is having this character right here, it doesn't have to be a necromancer but you will want a level 11 character. So as I can show you here, just hit level 11, that's what you're aiming for. Now the reason for that is because the gold dagger is actually only level 6, which is one of the reasons why it's so easy to get compared to a lot of the other uniques, even though, like I said, RNG being RNG, you may need a bit of luck on your side. So what you're going to do, you're going to chuck the money over to your character that's level 11, you're going to make sure their stash is completely 100% clear so that they can gamble as much as they want, and then you're going to go over to, uh, when I walk to the right place, you're going to go over to the gambling, and he's going to walk off from you. And there we have it just there. Also because you guys are only level 11 he's actually only charged 1607 to identify a dagger meaning you can buy an absolute abundance of them whereas if you were level like 50, 60, 70 or even near max you're going to be charged an absolute fortune. There. So make sure you're getting the dagger not anything else you're not accidentally pressing on a short sword or anything else you're going to want the dagger. From here we're going to have to have a little bit of luck on our side, we're going to have a lot of money backing us up hopefully, and we're going to just click on this and get as many as we can. Now once you've got a completely full up inventory, I would highly recommend, if it was myself, make sure you look at all of them and then sell them all. Because I've done it before when I've looked it over and I hadn't realised that it was actually the unique and I've accidentally sold it like that. Which is never, never good. So I would say just have a quick look through them all, make sure they're all blues and obviously even if there's any rares that you want to keep you can, but most of the time you're just looking for that unique. From here you're going to sell them all straight back to get a little bit of cash back. And you're just going to pretty much rinse and repeat until you fingers crossed have the RNG and a bit of luck about yourself in order to get that gold dagger. He says skipping everything. But yeah I'm going to fast forward this a little bit or skip a little bit because I'm sure you don't want to see exactly how long it takes but then I'll let you know exactly how much money it cost and we'll see if we get ourselves a gold dagger. Right, so uh, there we have it. So the gold dagger, a one-handed damage of 2 to 19, durability of 16 of 16, required level is 4, dagger class, very fast attack speed, 
none of the stats matter, adds one damage, minus five to mana, the main thing you're after, well I say none of the stats matter, the only stat that matters is 100% better chance of getting magic items. Honestly, this is a really, really nice one to have early on for your characters if you're trying to gear up and have a bit of luck about your class, or if you're trying to put it on, say for example, I wanted to switch over to a secondary slot, just so that when I'm getting that last hit, I've got a nice bit of magic find. This can even work at endgame on some of your really powerful characters, just to make sure you get a big boost on your magic find. But all in all, this is definitely one of the best ways, or probably is the best way to get a unique in the game, that's one that's guaranteed. It can still be a lot of RNG, it can be a bit of a pain. I've been lucky here and not actually spent much at all. I've only spent about 400,000, I believe. Let's go back to our stash just to check. Wrong. A little bit more than that. I've probably spent probably about six or 700, actually. But all in all, I believe the last time I did it, it took about 2 million. The time before that, I think, was about 3. It shows that it can and will be down to RNG but it's definitely worth doing if you want one of these because it's a guaranteed way to actually get it. Whereas with a lot of other stuff in the game, it's just pure luck based and you could play for hundreds upon hundreds of hours without finding the actual unique you're after. At least with this, even though it does cost you a pretty penny and there are a bit of prerequisites, like I said, you're gonna need a level 11 character, you're gonna need a lot of money, so you probably will be using it as a secondary class and then you're gonna start gambling and hopefully you'll be able to get this gold dagger without spending too much. All in all, definitely worth doing if you want to load for trading, if you want to load for magic finding on your classes, this is the way to do it. As always guys and girls, I'm really happy that actually worked and I didn't have to go out and get more gold, but for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.